YouTube. It's your boy Marco. All right, so you have your Hackintosh and you want to clone your disk correctly. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video right here. So first thing first, you have to go to this website. Carbon copy cloner. Whoa, wait a minute. Let me go to Google first. I don't think Safari really. All right, so you type in carbon copy toner. Now this sounds crazy as hell, but this is actually the site, bombbeach.com. <laughs> this is actually the site. You wanna go here and you wanna download the, the free trial for 30 days. You get it for 30 days, the free trial. That's really all you need. Um, But to buy it is real inexpensive. Um, sooner or later, I'm gonna actually buy it, but I didn't, I didn't get it yet. Oh, damn, $40, I thought it was 30. But anyway, $40 and it's something that you really, you really need because me for personally, I can't get a, one of those hack copies. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna have to buy it one of these days. All right. So you download that, then you, uh, you plug in your external hard drive that you're going to use. Let me plug that in. All right, so after that, you open up this utility. Now, this is the external drive I plugged in. Um, what you wanna do is go ahead and hit erase. And you wanna name it, whatever you wanna name it. and let it be APFS, go ahead and erase. Let it do its thing. All right, that's done. And if you got that done, now you wanna open up carbon copy cloner right here and as you can see i have free trial i have the trial still perfect, perfect, perfect. i still have the trial um i cannot find a hack version so <laughs> i'm gonna definitely have to buy it because this is this is one of those apps i'm gonna be continue to use you want to update you want to copy you want to do a backup of your drive anytime you're doing an update or anything of that situ any kind of situation like that you want to do a, a backup of your drive and periodically you want to copy your drive as well you know what i'm saying so all right so first thing first we're going to go to the hard drive that you have your operating system on that's catalina for me it's really big sir but i just never changed the name so that's Catalina and your destination is going to be the new drive that you plugged in, which is the Big Sur. Now, one thing about it. So your original drive could be bigger than your backup drive, but it can't be it can't use more gigabytes than your backup drive. So right here, I have a 500 uh, gigabyte drive right here and I have available 256. So that, that means I'm only using 253. That's kind of weird. I'm only using 253. Hold on, let me delete something. I gotta make sure that it's under what I have here. Right here, well, I have 255 gigabytes available on this. So this is a 256 drive. So this will work. If you have a 500 gigabyte drive, but you're using 300 gigabytes, you're not gonna be able to back it up on a 255 gigabyte drive. It's not gonna happen. So you wanna make sure you get that right. You wanna make sure that this drive is using under the amount of gigabytes of the backup drive that you're using. Hope that makes sense. All right, so after you do that, you wanna go here. You wanna make sure safe safety net is off. Then you want to go up here to legacy backup assistant. So
So over here, you're going to click on this, allow CCC to erase uh, your, your hard drive, your backup hard drive, right? You wanna click up this. If you don't click on this, it's not going to work. It's not going to boot. That allows it to be a bootable disk. And I think that's where a lot of people are getting confused with the old way, the old videos of copy carbon Clover. So they cloner, they change a few things. So you definitely want to do that. All right. After you do that, then you want to go ahead and get it started. You're ready to go. All right. We're going to go ahead and let it copy. After this copies, I'm going to be back and show y'all the next step. You got one more final step to back up your Hackintosh. Be back shortly. I'm going to fast forward. So there you have it. We successfully backed it up. That's backed up. Uh, it's a bootable disk, but you still have one more step to do. So what we need to do now is to mount our EFI partition and copy it over to the new disk that we just cloned. So get to your EFI part, mount your EFI partition, however you do it, whether it's Clover Configurator, Hacking Tool, whatever you use to get there. Personally, I use ESP Mounter Pro version 1.9. I think it does an amazing job. It does it real quick. So you want to mount the original disc, which I believe is disc one for me. Open up that EFI. Yep, that's the disc one for me. And then go to the new disc that you just uh, made, mount that one, mount that EFI partition, open that one up, bring it over. So now that you got both of them there, let me get this out the way. Now you want to copy this over. All right, now that you copied it over, you got your EFI partition in there, you have a bootable disk now because you did it the proper way on Carbon carbon Copy Clover, you did Carbon Copy Cloner, you did it the proper way. So now you have a bootable disk. You successfully backed it up. Congratulations. <laughs> Yo, so, all right, so let me uh, go ahead and unmount this. So you're, you're done now, so the reason I did this was because the videos out there of how to do it, the same method, they're a little outdated and, you know, things changed around a little bit where the carbon copy cloner. So I wanted to go ahead and update things so people know how to do it. Now, the way to test this is you want to take out your original disc that you have your OS on your original disc, remove that from your system, plug this disc in. <clears throat> and then you want to boot from this disc. If you if you leave your original disc in, a lot of times people would think they're booting from the copy disc, but they're really they're really booting from the original disc. So you want to remove that completely and verify that it works. But if you followed all my steps, it should work guaranteed, and you know it should definitely work the way it's intended to. Anyway, this your boy Marco, and as Geeksh. And I'll be back later. Also, one more thing. I want to let you know that I'm coming out with an update of my Hackintosh. I built a Hackintosh in 2019. I did the original video on my other channel, which is Q and Marco. I'm going to do an update to that video and talk about a few things on, you know, 
how things are going with it. Is it still worth it to do it right now? Clover versus Open Core. I'm going to talk about all those things on the updated version. That's going to be coming this week or next. I was supposed to do one since 2000 every year, but I didn't get around to it <laughs> anyway. So anyway, that's Geeksh. I'll be back later. Perfect.